Hello, I'm Dr. Misty Parsley, the faculty advisor of the Lipscomb Ideal Program. And I'd like to talk to you about why you should consider applying for our program. IDEAL stands for Igniting the Dream of Education and Access at Lipscomb University. We started the program in January of 2014 with three students. We now have over 35 alums, many of whom are working and living independently and just enjoying life. That's one of the goals of our program. We want to focus on the aspects of college that help prepare you to live a meaningful life. And those include academics, career development, independent living, and social development. Our students here are, are Lipscomb students first, so they get to participate in all things on campus, from coursework to student life activities to sporting events, residential living, and even those late night Chick-fil-A deliveries. <laughs> but of course, we also ensure a high expectation in a supportive environment so that you can go on to live a meaningful life. You'll be hearing from several of our ideal staff, as well as two students. And we hope that you'll engage in our, our future live Q&A events so that you can ask any questions about the program. And at the end, you'll get to hear how you can apply for college. So first, I want to introduce you to E.B. Browning. E.B. is our employment specialist who teaches our employment skills classes and also manages our on-campus internships. E.B., will you share how IDEAL helps su support the career goals for our students? Sure, I'd be happy to. So IDEAL combines academic coursework with hands-on employment skills um, through internships on and off campus. <clears throat> Each semester, students participate in two IDEAL courses and two Lipscomb University courses. Um, they're very inclusive courses. We have peer mentors in our ideal classes, as well as students participating in inclusive Lipscomb University classes. Um, our students also participate on on-campus internships. We have over 30 on-campus partnerships um, with our sites, and our students get to practice those skills they've learned in the classes through employment classes on the internship sites. Great, can you also tell us about our faculty partners here on campus? Sure, Ideal Partners with over 120 faculty members on campus. Um, we also have students who have taken over 30 different classes um, through our, our partnership with faculty members on campus. Great. Um, in addition to the Lipscomb University courses, our students are also enrolled in two Ideal courses each semester. Um, these in courses include courses um, geared towards employment skills as well as everyday independent living skills. Um, through the independent living skills and employment skills classes, we work on social skills, we work on cooking classes, and we also have a time where we get to work with counseling students here on campus. Awesome. Thank you. We also have Sarah Rowe Hall with us, and Sarah is our community specialist, and she works with our peer mentors. Would you tell us about some of our non-academic parts of IDEAL? Yeah, um, so along with our academics and our internships, um, IDEAL puts a lot of importance on promoting social skills and independent living skills. And like E.B. said, we touch on that in our classes, but we really want to incorporate that in our um, campus life. And um, ideal students are able to be very involved in campus in multiple ways. Um, students have daily interactions with these peers and daily interactions with students all across campus. Um, and this really helps build those social skills. We have around 100 peers that volunteer with us every semester, which is so exciting. And one of the most encouraging things about our program to me is it draws people in, even on our campus. Um, our peers are traditional Lipscomb students that volunteer with our program each semester. Um, peer mentors are really individualized. They give students various supports in various ways. Um, and some examples of that are um, social peers that assist students at lunch or at Lipscomb's chapels. Um, we also have exercise peers that help students promote a healthy lifestyle. Um, we have academic peers um, that support students with their homework, their study peers, and we even have some in-class peers as well. 
And we have optional spiritual peers um, that can talk with students about their faith and develop a deeper relationship if a student is interested in that. And we even have peers throughout the evening and on weekends. Um, and these peers are really based around students' specific needs. We wanna tailor um, how we can support them best and we do this through these social interactions that they have. Peer mentors also help with relationship building. Um, they really support communication and help students keep appointments and text in an appropriate way and really build those social skills and those soft skills um, in this social environment. Lastly, peer mentors are really fun and you build fun memories and make lasting friendships um, and it really enhances the college experience as well. Um, Another part of our program, so I was talking about social skills, but we have a lot of support around independent living skills um, in our classes, but in a tangible way as they're interacting on campus as well. Um, and we have some students that live on campus and they have an ideal roommate um, and are supported in the dorm, but we also have students that commute to campus, um, but we really encourage them to be involved in campus life as well. So the students that live in the dorm, they have an uh, ideal resident assistant that's specific to the ideal students in the dorm. And there is a residential coordinator on ideal staff that is supporting those students in the dorm as well. Um, we support these students as they're living independently in the dorm and hope that they will build these skills um, to live independently when they graduate. Um, and we really see that as a very important thing if that's something that they want to do. Um, so that's something that is really focused on in independent living skills. Also, as far as supporting our campus life, we want um, students to be involved, like I said, even the students that are commuting. Um, and we encourage them to be in social clubs and um, contribute to student activities and dorm events and sports games. There's intramural sports they can be involved in. We have Singarama on campus. That's a really fun um, campus-wide event that a lot of our students have participated in. Um, and there's so many more. That's just examples. But whatever your student is interested in, we want to help support them get involved in a way that they enjoy. So we want students to grow socially and in their independent living as well. Awesome. Thank you. Hopefully you're getting a sense of of all the different aspects of our program. And next up, you're gonna hear from our program director, as well as uh, one of our traditional students who serves as a peer mentor and one of our ideal students. Thank you, Misty, Eby, and Sarah for that introduction of ideal and of our program. Today, I'm here with some students to talk about the importance of ideal in their lives and why you should apply for, to be a part of the ideal program. I have with me Abigail, who is a junior special education major, and I also have Preston, who is in his second year in the IDEAL program. Abigail, how long have you worked with the IDEAL program? I have worked with the IDEAL program for three years now. I started my freshman year. Awesome. What capacity have you worked in in IDEAL? I started working in IDEAL as a peer mentor for a couple different students. I worked as a study peer and also as a spiritual mentor. And I loved that so much that the next semester, I decided to join as a circle of support leader and get more involved academically with the students. My sophomore year, I became the RA for our women in the IDEAL program who live on campus, which was an amazing experience. I learned so much and I got to be involved and a whole other lifestyle uh, with ideal students about everything they do when they're not in class and not school. And now it's my junior year and I am back as a peer mentor and a circle support leader. Wonderful, can you tell us about these experiences and what they have done um, for you as well as for the students in the ideal program? For me, these experiences have been extremely impactful just to start I came into Lipscomb as an elementary education major, and after working with IDEAL, I found that my passion was truly for working with students with special needs, and I changed my major to special education. And so it truly helped me find my not only my path in life, but the people that I want to surround myself with. Um, and it's not just been impactful, but it's also been eye-opening. Um, many students come into Lipscomb and possibly have never 
worked with somebody with a disability or have even met somebody with a disability. And for me, I had never worked this closely with somebody with a disability. And so it was extremely eye-opening to this whole population that is so amazing and so smart and so talented that a lot of people miss out on. And so Lipscomb really shows that this community is one to see. Um, and it's also just been, this experience has been one of friendship. Um, I've made so many friendships with our ideal students that have come through and these are people who have impacted my life and have taught me more things than I could ever teach them. So that is something I have truly taken away and they have touched my heart. Great. One of your roles with IDEAL was a residential coordinator. Can you talk to us a little bit about the importance um, for the IDEAL students of living on campus and kind of what they gained from that? Living on campus, the benefits of that are, there's so many, but it's truly that of any other college student who comes to campus. As a college student, I mean, you get the community right off the bat when you're in the dorm. Dorm life has been one of my absolute favorite parts of campus. Um, it allows for all students to truly get to know people, get to have late night chats in their pajamas in their dorm, and get to have that community right off the bat. But it's also learning so many amazing living skills. Um, living with even a friend or possibly a stranger is extremely different than with a sibling at home. So it's a whole new living experience and it's kind of like a practice or trial run for real life. So you're still in a very supportive environment, but you get to really see what's it like to kind of fend for yourself when it comes to food. You get to make those decisions. All students on campus have a certain amount of dining dollars that they can spend, so it's up to you on how much you want to spend on Chick-fil-A and Starbucks and how quickly you want to spend them. So it's an amazing budgeting experience, um, spending your time after school wisely, um, learning how to, if you want to get that assignment done, or hang out with friends. Going to campus events is a lot easier when you're on campus. You get to just walk right outside and you go into the square and there's probably an event going on, so you can either stumble upon them or if you plan them out, you really get the most of your college experience. So not only do you get the educational impact of learning how to do life on your own, but you also get the community of living with your friends and making those connections and waking up early, walking out of the dorm for your 8 a.m. It's truly, this is the time of your life to do those things. This is the college experience and I think living on campus is the best way to maximize that. Thank you, Abigail, so much for sharing your life as being a peer mentor and your involvement with IDEAL. Preston, can you tell us why did you decide to come to Lipscomb to IDEAL program? I chose to come to IDEAL because it gave me a college experience and also gave me an opportunity to meet new friends. That's awesome. Um, what has been your favorite part of the program since you've been an ideal? I guess meeting new people and getting to take college classes. Okay, can you tell us what your favorite college class has been? My favorite college class was uh, Intro to Computer Programming. Okay, very fun. So Preston has also lived in the dorm since he started the program. Can you tell us what you like about living in the dorm? Uh, I like uh, hanging out with my friends and uh, getting to like be really close to them and hang out with them. So Preston, why should people apply to be a part of the IDEAL program? To have a college experience and to get ready for a, a job. Awesome. So while you're at Ideal, have you learned some job skills that will help you in your future career? Yes. Thank you, Abigail and Preston, for sharing your experiences here at Ideal. The mission of Ideal is to help students with disabilities become young adults with opportunities. Now that you have heard the why you should apply at Ideal and have listened to students talk about why you should, come to Lipscomb. It is now your turn to apply to be a part of this truly rewarding program. To apply, you will complete the online application at this link. We are currently looking for qualified students who want to join us to be a part 
of the IDEAL program fall of 2021. Thank you for joining our virtual open house today, and we hope that you will join us for a live question and answer session where you will be able to ask any question you have about the IDEAL program with any of the IDEAL staff members. We hope that you were able to garner a glance of IDEAL through our virtual open house and that you have found what a great program IDEAL is. We will be happy to answer any questions you have during our live Q&A sessions. Thank you.